Hello and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Trad Tuesdays. And the beer we've got today is Moonraker from J.W. Lees. Now, I'll crack the beer open and then we'll have a little chat about J.W. Lees. So Moonraker is a strong ale, first brewed in 1950. 6.5%. You can get this in supermarkets. I think I picked this one up from uh, Morrison's. Um, I think it's about £2 a bottle. And that's pouring a lovely, dark colour. I've never had Moonraker. And that is pouring absolutely superb in that glass. Let's just leave it there a minute. I've washed this glass. There's a few bubbles around the side there. Right, there you are. So, the beer in the glass. Lovely, lovely, creamy looking tan head that's formed there. Mm. It's really really dark slight real dark mahogany with some red hues going down the sides there like i say tan head creamy quite compact bubbles aroma toffee sweet sweet toffee fruity when i say fruity you know, like dark fruits like plum dates that sort of thing in the aroma Smells really, really good. So let's have a little talk about J.W. Lees anyway. So dear, uh, where J John Lees founded them in 1828. Um, basically, John Lees was a, uh, basically he owned cotton mills in Manchester. He sold them up, got some land in Middleton, got a brewery. It's a Green Gate brewery, still the same brewery today in Middleton. And in 1876, he passed it on to John Willie Lees. I think that was his nephew, who then renamed it to J.W. Lees, and they've never looked back since. Um, they're a six-generation family brewery, and they're really proud of that. And they're also quite proud that the head brewer to the day is still a member of the family, which is quite unique, really, because normally through these generations, uh, the head brewers are normally someone from the outside, but it's quite unique that uh, J.W. Lees, the head brewer, is part is a, is a family member, which is fantastic. Um, the, the beers include the... J.W. Lee's Bitter, the Manchester Pale Ale, the Stout, the Gold, and they have seasonals. Uh, recently, they had a plum one. Um, I think they've got a winter ale out at the moment. Uh, in the bottles, they've got Moonraker, they've got Manchester Star, the Governor, which is a lager, and uh, they've also got the Harvest Ale, which is a barley, barley wine. They do that in vintages. I've not had one yet, but my bottle shop does sell them. Um, in 2018, J.W. Lee's converted the Boiler House into basically a uh, experimental brew house and they produce now some small batch beers from there and they do collabs they're doing quite a few collabs they're doing all sorts of newer style modern beers as well in there which come out throughout the year which is fantastic um jw lees currently own around 150 pubs in the northwest of england and north west wales now i've recently come back from uh, north wales and i've stayed in the uh, one of their hotels, Guesty Links, uh, I think Hotel Links, uh, for the Welsh, convert that in from Guesty Hotel, I'm sure that's what it is, and it was absolutely superb. I had the, uh, G the, the Lee's Bitter, that was absolutely sublime, and I had the Manchester Pale Ale as well, again, sublime. The actual food was brilliant, the service, the customer service, the, the pub, everything about it, the host's was superb and it's a credit to uh, JW Lee's really really good I'll be definitely uh, returning there and like I say the cask beer was on top form the the bitter was superb it was biscuit malty bready and so easy drinking and then the Manchester Pale I was sat there and I was like wow you're getting sort of subtle fruit notes coming through on this this Manchester Pale Ale and it was golden nice malt again backbone it was absolutely superb on cask so so yeah so that's jw lee's manchester brewery still today family run business which is superb anyway back to the beer so we've got the moonraker which is the strong ale let's try and get a try and get a head back on this there we might have overdone it have we overdone it it's gonna go over no right i need to get the taste now so it looks superb like I say, it's dark mahogany. It looks darker on camera than what it actually is. It's got a nice brown and then red hues down the side. Let's get a taste. Cheers. The 
first thing I'm getting is treacle. Real nice dark molasses treacle flavours with subtle fruit notes, which I was seeing in the aroma as well. Then you're getting a sweet the sweetness from that malt, which is absolutely fantastic. And then it finishes with a nice dry bitter bitterness. And I'm not talking IPA bitterness, I'm just talking your modern um, English bitter type bitterness. So it's a subtle bitterness going across the tongue and dry coating. Going to go back again. Really easy drinking. Carbonation's really low, which is superb. It's a, you, you get left with a sweet note, which then flushes across the palate with a bitterness, which then goes, and then you're getting that treacle, licorice, dark, toasted bread from the malts as well. Everything about that is really good. That is such an easy drink at 6.5%. That's quite dangerous. Um, the fruitness is, is lovely. It's a dark fruit, which comes... It's, got, it's really complex. It's got lots going on in that glass. It really has. That's, that is a superb beer. Let's see if it says anything at all on the bottle about the uh, the beer. I don't know if I'm going to need my glasses first. I'll put them on anyway. Give you a quick look at the front of the bottle. J.W. Lee, Lee's or J. Willie Lee's Moonraker. So it says here, Moonraker, first brewed in 1950, Moonraker is a multi, award-winning, strong ale dedicated to a local legend. The story goes that local farmers fell into a pond attempting to rake out a reflection of the moon, maybe stuck for a truckle of Lancashire cheese. Ingredients, water, uh, barley, doesn't just say yeast and hops, it doesn't really tell you anything more. Uh, brewed by J.W. Lees, it's www.j wlees.co.uk uh, it doesn't really give you no tasting notes on there nothing I can see at all but for me Brewgate Brewery Middleton Junction Manchester JW Lees Strong Ale first brewed in 1950 for me that is really good it's like a it's an old ale in taste that's the best way to describe that on the lines of all peculiar that sort of taste 6.5% you feel it a bit warming now as well as it's going down but I would definitely return to that. And again, it's nice that I'm doing Trad Tuesdays and being introduced to some of these bottled beers in the supermarkets, which I would have never, ever have gone to, apart from doing the Trad Tuesdays, which has opened my eyes to these superb beers. Okay, thank you for watching. Whew, I've got to do it. Cheers, and I'll see you on the next one.